Hey guys, it's Anna. I am looking down at a mushroom that is uh, fairly new to me. Uh, the genus name here is uh, Tolipocladium, and it is a cordyceps type mushroom that is really uh, attached to that pine straw. Um, and it's a really interesting mushroom for a variety of reasons. I did mention that it's a uh, cordyceps type. So um, cordyceps, is, there's a lot of different species of them. You've probably seen them in pop culture or um, at least on a BBC documentary. They're a fungus that is um, basically a parasite either on another fungus or uh, the ones you've probably heard about are uh, entomopathogenic fungi. So they grow on, um, you know, a moth or on a caterpillar. Um, you know, if you play The Last of Us, they grow on human beings and turn people into zombies. It's very exciting. Uh, but uh, Tolipocladium uh, grows on a uh, truffle type fungus and so you can see uh, basically it has this you know um, sort of uh, like little uh, truffle dude at the base oh I just broke it off but if you open up the truffle on the inside this is not like a culinary truffle you can see it's got sort of this um, you know homogenous and and a little bit um, sort of uh, cakey interior, um, which is uh, relatively common for different kinds of truffles. So identification besides, uh, you know, the, the uh, truffle underneath, and that's probably the most important component of it, uh, is you have a, you know, tall and slender mushroom. It has this uh, head that has little uh, sort of pimply um, appearance to it. And so, you know, it's, it's a little bit, uh, I suppose, uh, it glistens and has a, um, you know, a little bit of a variegated uh, coloration there. Uh, the base of the stem of this species that I'm finding everywhere, which may be uh, Tolipocladium capitatum, uh, the base is sort of this uh, pleasing yellow color. And, uh, you know, again, the, the heads of them are all sort of blackish. Another feature uh, that I've been seeing that I think is really quite uh, appealing is you have a little bit of, uh, you know, sort of stretching of the, um, basically the top of the stem. And uh, so you have this sort of white uh, collar looking thing going on. Um, but, you know, I wanna show you one of the things that can be quite maddening about identifying mushrooms of this type. So cordyceps, oftentimes look uh, just like a little, you know, tongue or dude sticking out. Um, you know, I mean, it, we're talking about something that's about the length of uh, half of my pinky maybe. And, uh, you know, there are a lot of mushrooms like that that you just pull right up and uh, move along. But in the case of anything that is a cordyceps, you really have to dig it up and see what's at the base of it. And I'm gonna try to do that right now, see if we can unearth one of these, one of these here non-culinary truffles. Oh, we're having a little bit of difficulty. I'm getting handfuls and handfuls of dirt. Um, all right, I think I'm gonna uh, abort that uh, particular mission. But this is a really good example of why, you know, when you find these especially little dainty sort of tongue looking things, it is important to sort of uh, investigate around them. Another thing that I've found about these mushrooms that's really driving me nuts is that um, they, uh, like the, the little truffle underneath, which I guess is Alaphomyces is the name of the genus of those. Anyway, they seem to get these like little balls of mini roots around them. So it's really obnoxious to pull them out and then clean them off. Anyway, um, to my knowledge, this is not uh, an edible fungus. I guess that there is a relative that was used to derive um, some immunosuppressive drugs. I don't know much about that because I don't know much about medicinal mushrooms. I am cold, this mushroom is neat, and uh, it's January, so it's really nice to find anything.